Alright, hello fun and welcome to my new Fallout 4 series of Depravity, where today I'm quite excited to be starting up this quest and adventure mod from back in 2019, which of course wasn't the intended thing to play today. We were going to continue with Experiment DCM with its sequel Shadow, but sadly no matter what I tried, that just kept crashing on me, so it was effectively unplayable for us here. So. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Just move on to the next game, or, well, next mod I had in mind for this game on my list, which is this, Depravity, which is a rather large DLC-sized quest and adventure mod that did release, like I said earlier, in 2019, and is related to a mod we did play on the channel, which was Outcast and Remnants, which, sadly, I didn't have the save file for anymore. I used to, but in that great hard drive wipe that I had not too long ago, actually it's been a fair few months at this point, uh, we did sadly lose a lot of our old save files, but oh well, we're just in our normal mod save. Shouldn't be affected, but I'm rather excited to play this as it has quite a lot of quests to it, a lot of content. I am a little bit worried because since it is related to Outcast and Remnants, it actually requires Outcast and Remnants be installed, so I'm a little worried there might be some overlap between between the two that I don't remember that might get kind of mixed in. In fact, we already picked up the Outcast and Remnants quest here upon starting into the game. But hopefully with following the uh, quest for Depravity, we should be good. Now, the basic sort of concept of the Depravity mod is to let you be a bit more evil and add in more evil options for role-playing into the game. And not just in this quest line, but it actually adds like a whole load of new evil RPG options throughout the main game. For instance, you can actually do things like convince Kellogg to work for you rather than killing him. And now you've got yourself, you know, Kellogg as a companion to work alongside, which is kind of kind of nifty. And there's all sorts of other options like that that have been actually, you know, mixed in with the main game, which is pretty freaking cool, adding all that sort of stuff to the vanilla experience, along with the quest line that will start here momentarily. And to do so, and, you know, start our, I guess, evil playthrough. I don't normally do evil, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've brought us, of course, over to the Red Rocket over by Concord. And if we head on down there, there's a child named Stella that is uh, who we have to talk to to get things rolling. I believe I see her already. Excellent. I mean, I, I assume that's Stella. Yes. Yes, it is. And this should start us on our adventure. So I'm intrigued to see how this is going to go and how an, a mod that revolves around evil options is starting with a child. Huh. Well, let's find out. All right. Hi, Stella. How are you? Hey there. Can you help me? You know, that's the plan. So, uh, well, depends on who's asking though first. Oh, you know what? I forgot to reinstall into my uh, game the extended dialogue interface. I'll have to remember to do that before the next episode. But uh, yeah, depends on who's asking here, kid. Depends on who's asking. Oh, me? My name's Stella. It's nice to meet you. Your voice sounds much younger than your model. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what you done? What are you doing out here? I'm looking for help, silly. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of ragers around the corner. So I'm staying here. Probably for the best. Yeah, that voice is way too young for that, that person there. <laughs> Well, I like that it actually says advanced conversation there. Uh, yeah, we'll advance the conversation. What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. He went to the family store. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. Got it. Can you check on him for me? Sure, why not? Uh, should look for your parents where they hold up. Yeah, you know what? We probably should. Where are your parents, kid? You should look for your parents. Where are they hold up? In Quincy. That's when my mommy died. Ah. I don't know about my dad. My mom said I would get to meet him someday. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, so who's this person you're wanting me to find? How are they related to you? Does that little scam actually work on anyone? <laughs> you know, yeah, we'll go for it. Does that little scam actually work on anyone? What's a scam? Ha. Okay. You know what? Yeah, sure, sure. We'll help. Okay. I'll try to help. Really? 
Thank you. You seem way too surprised, child. Big yellow building down the street. Yeah, I know where Fallon's is. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? I don't, I promise nothing about the safe aspect there, but okay, Murphy's Law. <laughs> All right, nice. We also seem to have a uh, new locale there to fast travel to. First quest is more fun if you dismiss your companions, but you can do whatever you want. I have no companions, but thank you, mod makers, for reminding me. Uh, are there actually... Oh, hey, Provisioner. No, you're, you're good. I was about to say, are there actually any raiders around here right now? I think we're okay. Ain't looking for trouble. Yeah, let's just go into the Fallon's administrative offices. I mean, it's a store. It's not their off. I mean, maybe up top is their offices, but... All right, in we go. Let's go find this Murphy fella and whatever relation they have to this child. <laughs> uh, oh, and while we're loading in, I probably actually should mention, since this is actually a much larger mod, this is actually going to be the new uh, daily series. And I'm hoping it lasts us until Fallout London releases. That would be ideal. With my luck, though, we'll be just shy of Fallout London and have to play a few one-offs or tiny little things. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to being a little bad. All right, what do we got in here? I don't actually see anyone. I got no one. Oh, hey, there is. I was about to say, I wasn't getting anything on vats. But now, look at that. A laser turret. They're green, though. I don't like the skulls, I see. Those are going to activate soon, aren't they? Am I, is there, like, a tripwire? No, I think we're fine. Flashlight! Oh god, there's even more turrets. Well, what do we got on the receptionist terminal? Apparently is where it's taking me to. Oh, well, we have a lot of things. <laughs> okay, well, shoplifting prevention. To all team members, we have noticed a higher than average incident rate of shoplifting over the past two quarters, especially when it comes to small jewelry items and dresses. Sales associates are not advised to directly confront customers. Security is employed for a reason, and our protectorons should be more than up to the task once properly notified. The unfortunate deaths of the last two shoplifters were, of course, due to factory error, and no one should feel guilty about it for even a second. We did what we could in our hands are clean. <laughs> HQ statement on the matter should suffice if media inquiries persist. Got it. Got it. Conglomco? Is that what that says? February's blood drive. After the, sex of, uh, the success of last year's epic blood drive, Conglomco, God, that's a weird name, will once again be holding a blood drive on February 22nd. According to that company's chief of blood operations, there's a title, Barry Trickle. Trickle, really? <laughs> that's music. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. It is absolutely essential for most surgeries, some cancer treatments, semi-chronic illnesses, and truly traumatic injuries. Whether a patient receives whole blood, red cells, platelets, or plasma, the gift of life-saving care starts with one person making a truly selfless, generous donation. Two true go donate blood people, and one donation can potentially save up to 17 lives. The attached document provides additional details and a warning about potential dangers involved in giving blood in the modern age. I mean, it's not that bad. You eat some, you, you get blood drawn, you eat some cookies, it's all fine. <laughs> Please let me know if you have any questions. This is honestly my favorite part of the job, and as we all know, I have amply proven time and time again I can discuss blood all day. Okay. Weird. Margarita... Wait, hold on. No, we have the August of Fan... Fanuel... Fan... Fanuel Hall? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, sales. Cool. Weekly sales down three relative to last year. Oh no, merchants meeting focused on shoplifting crisis. <laughs> Is it really a crisis though? Discuss Fallon's proposal for protectrons on security objectives, uh, objections to it. Or society, why did I say security? Society, society issued a veto on historic preservation grounds. All merchants agreed to detailed inventory tracking to assess the scope of the problem. Another weekly report, sales up 11% due to Columbus Day holiday. Yeah, nice. Uh, the inventory reports show net losses, 12 confirmed shoplifting incidents, really 12. 12. I mean, over how large of an area? This is uh, like a merchant society? That's not bad. Uh, several merchants threatened to sue for breach of contract over security issues. Oh, damn. Recommend moving forward with Protectron installation. We're going to be encountering some Protectrons here today, aren't we? 
All right, sales down 81% to the press coverage of the incidents. <laughs> Seven deaths reported to altercations with Protectrons, including five alleged shoplifters, one bystander, oh no, and one Fallon's cashier, oh no. Disabled Protectrons pending technical review. Oh boy, yeah, it's, that needs a review. Merchants meeting canceled to avoid further media scrutiny. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not great. Hey, but Margarita Party, that makes everything better. It's not all work around here because you're officially invited to a full-on Fallon's Margarita Party. Despite rumors that we haven't hit our sales goals, I am pleased to announce that we will still be holding our annual Margarita Party on October 1st. Time to let your hair down and really move the needle. We will also be holding our famous and occasionally dangerous Mild Salsa and Hot Guacamole Contest. How is that occasionally dangerous? It's Mild Salsa. I mean, the hot guacamole, though, sounds interesting. Each employee will have the opportunity to handcraft their own homemade salsa or guacamole and put it to a democratic vote. Take the lead and exploit your salsa's core competencies. If you are at all interested in entering the competition, please let me know by September 24th. Alternatively, please let Sandy know because she needs something to do. Just kidding, Sandy. He's, they're not. They're not. They're not at all. We all know you work hard and are responsible for at least 20% of our organic growth. Oh, damn. Radiation suit delivery. I have the same question mark there. Okay, what? Tammy received a delivery of two dozen radiation suits at the front desk, but the packaging was missing the labels. Should I assume this is for the Fallout Shelter and not some new winter fashion line we're marketing? Also, can you send someone down to move the six mattresses that were delivered into the shelter? The doctor advised I shouldn't be lifting anything over 15 pounds since I'm less than three months away from my due date. They got their own little bunker here, huh? Interesting. October 23rd, bring the kids to work day. Ugh. Just a quick reminder that this Saturday, October 23rd, is our annual Bring Your Kids to Work Day. As usual, we'll be holding the annual Halloween raffle and Hawaiian shirt contest. How would that even work? They're all Hawaiian shirts. They're... I mean... <laughs> uh, how could you choose between them for a contest? I don't, I don't know. Weird. Continental breakfast will be served at 8 a.m. sharp. See you there, Candace Perkowitz. Minor that while this event is by no means mandatory, we highly encourage everyone's participation and look forward to seeing you all in your best Hawaiian shirts. I know some have expressed reservations about scheduling this event on Saturday instead of Friday like usual, but think of how much more efficient we'll be during regular work week ugh, without the distraction of pesky kids running around. Yeah, but it also gives your people an extra day off, and that's what they need. Candace. They'll be Candace Perkwood's last day of employment. Oof. Oof. I don't think they liked her them moving it to Saturday. We'd like to thank Candace for her many years of dedicated service and wish her the best in her future endeavors. CFO Tracy Warwick will serve as Interim Director of Corporate Tax until we find a permanent replacement for Candace. Thank you, Tracy, as always, for stepping up and keeping us dialed in. All right. Oh, Grace, please forward any tax correspondence to Tracy's office and any person, the personal correspondence of Candace to Parsons, CEO Jack Cabot. Cabot. Hmm. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody got some news. Oh. Followed by, yes. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds uh -huh. of uh -huh. explosions. Did you hear the news? We're. Uh, Trying to get confirmation. What's happening? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, uh -huh. that is bad news. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Oh no. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh my God, it's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Our soldiers alive. It's finally happening. War. Evacuate war never changes. <laughs> they had to. The war never changes part, didn't they? <laughs> Oh. Everyone panicking, definitely not staying calm. So, so how long is this going on for? Okay, so they either all made it in or they're dead. <laughs> There was definitely one person who didn't who sounded like they really didn't want to go into the shelter. 
Okay. Are, are we done? Is that it? That sounds it. I don't hear anything else. Well, that was neat, though. Okay. Still, though, why all the turrets? I don't know. So we need to search the building for Murphy now. Stay in power on this first quest. You're going to have a bad time. Search downstairs for a workbench to store your power armor. Well, thank you again for another lovely hint. <laughs> I love that. That's, you're going to have a bad time, man. Get out of the power armor. Okay, we don't need power armor. We have marine combat armor. You know, considering they just mentioned the power armor, though, we probably should... Oh, requires terminal. Wait, really? I didn't see an unlock in there. Is there another terminal? Yeah, there's definitely not an unlock in there. All right, well, there's another door. Oh, that's with the skulls. <laughs> oh! That's a waste of a good bullet to shoot you with. I love attention. What? What? Ah! At least it's honest work. Who, who, where are these people? Eden and Murphy? I mean, we're looking for Murphy. Oh, hey, this is a place. Fuse box, don't touch. Oh, I want to touch it. <laughs> oh, boy, a lot of shipments of stuff. So, okay, we got to find these people. Ah, there's probably the terminal we need. Jamesy's Corner. Inaccessible. Interesting. I'm gonna door here. Power for the place. Hello, you. Yeah, was this a really loud? Where the hell were those two? Oh, hey, another thing. Power armor station. There's the word. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> Almost missed you. Ooh, and you! <laughs> hey! So it looks like we'll be able to turn this place into a little home for ourselves later. Nice. Interesting. I'll take that pre-war money. The rest is meh. Alright, let's go open that door. Custodial terminal, huh? Workshop etiquette. Not many bother reading terminals in these dark times, but in the event you are, come on in and appreciate your surroundings. Life out there is exhausting. A place like this, in a place like this, you can be yourself. Shouldn't it be in a place like this? I trust you're alone, and if you aren't, well, I can see you. But you won't be able to see me. I put some of my work on display. Please enjoy and make yourself at home, provided you follow a few rules. Do not touch the fuse box unless your intent is to disable the water and power. Ah, that's what's on the fuse box. Okay, we won't touch it. Two, I've added safeguards against interior decoration on the lower floors, unless you can discover the secret to circumvention. Oh, interesting. Leave your Brahmin outside unless uh, you're like, unless you'd like their guts painted on the walls and your skeleton displayed with a Brahmin head affixed where the skull used to be. Think twice before heading upstairs to the top floor without an invitation. Oh, oh boy. Thank you for reading. And if you're not, it doesn't matter anyways. You're here with me and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. That's creepy. Hilarious, huh? Fashion masks. I mean, I'm kind of wondering if we should try and see if there's an intercom or something somewhere before we open that door with what he just said. But first, fashion masks. For centuries, the hockey mask has been associated with homicide, referred to as a security risk or a flag of psychopathy. Few remember why anymore, but I do. Back in those days, you were expected to smile at people who didn't care about you because it was polite. I like to think we've evolved. This path has this path wasn't forced on me. The rotting skin, uh, shot vocal cords, the ostracization. A reasonable trade-off for an extended lifespan. But only beneath the mask do I really get to live. Oh boy, okay, so this guy's going to be real weird looking. And a ghoul, apparently. It isn't the same for all of us who wear the mask. The practice must be understood within a particular social and cultural context. Some wear the mask to express their piety, their desire for increased mobility and privacy in social settings, to hide an unfortunate accident with a vial of acid, oh boy, all right, or simply as a rejection of Western notions of sexuality. I find the mask to be an ideal means of avoiding small talk without offending people. It's also terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. Cool, cool. Observations of a film connoisseur. 
thousands of hours watching my 20th and 21st century horror film collection, I've concluded there are certain tropes that need to die. Let's split up. That way we no longer outnumber the threat we're dealing with. Ah, oh, God, I know, right? Running upstairs. Know your exits. When a mass killer is chasing you, heading out the front door is safety. To safety is always the prudent move. God, greed. Mirror scares. I wonder why they're showing us the scene of the protagonist opening a medicine cabinet. <laughs> I know, right? Every time. Every time you see that, you're like, ah, there it comes. Based on a true story. No, not really. <laughs> Evil dolls. They're a foot tall and lack basic motor skills. I gotta admit, though, I'm still pretty freaked out by evil dolls. They, uh, they freak the hell out of me. Evil children. Once you determine the kid is evil, explaining to the authorities how the pint-sized terror perished by your hand is the only realistic challenge. <laughs> Celebrating too early. Always double tap. Hitchhikers. Does that ever end well? Dumb kids. Somehow they're all completely oblivious to obvious danger until they become possessed or go missing. Untimely sex. When all your closest friends are dying around you, why does that put you in the mood? Agreed. Why? Useless police officers. Thank God the police are here. And he's dead. <laughs> the killer is in the back seat because, of course, he is. I like this list. I like every single thing about this list. I think that me and this Hilarious person are going to get along. Unless they're dead because I only heard... Uh, Murphy and Eden upstairs. You know, I'm gonna look for an intercom first. These don't have intercoms. Gotta find the terminal. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to click it. Cool, 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 cool. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't see an intercom or anything anywhere on a wall. Unless I'm blind, which is always a possibility. I mean, we could always do the don't touch. <laughs> No, let's don't not do the don't touch. I'll take that though. Oh man. Yeah, screw it. We're just gonna click it. Alright, remote door control. Open door. We're about to have some explaining to do. <laughs> hey, you know, we got a plenty of light in here. We don't need the the sun. Ooh. Another door to unlock. Got it. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> First though. Let's check out what's up here. Hilarious? Oh! <sighs> Could you not have included in your list of tropes the knockout? I always... Oh, I've mentioned this in many series in the past. I hate the sudden knockout like this. I am wearing so much goddamn armor. My marine combat suit has freaking helmet! Congratulations, you've been enslaved. As you regain consciousness, you release your weapons and armor are gone. I was wearing a... Oh, hello. I was wearing a helmet. <sighs> You're not going to knock me out. I hate that. Save your game. Oh, oh, that's... Okay, we're going to listen. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to listen to the mod assistants. All right, am I... Am I oh, boy. Oh, no, we're, we're on the move. we got to get our stuff, huh? Creepy. Oh, just more uh, corpses. What does that say? Nothing. <laughs> oh God, she's another cor another oh, freaking jangles. Oh! I was hoping to grab that, but oh, and that's gonna explode. Neat. Was hoping to grab that grenade. Dang. Alright, nothing there. Horrifying. Horrifying. Don't need a toy truck. I'll take all of you, though. I hate you, too. So, I'm not seeing any weapons in here. Oh, a wrench. Janitor's pipe wrench. That's our one and only weapon, isn't it? Hey, I got homing beacons. <laughs> Man, yeah, I hate when we get knocked out. Hey, I got all my eight items. That's nice. I hate when we get knocked out by crap like that. It always annoys the hell out of me. I was wearing so much damn armor, including a helmet. All right, all right. Let's get this out. I have to beat someone to death with it. Like you, monkey. There we go. Get that door unlocked. 
thankfully, yeah, we have all of our bobby pins and everything, too. Ah, dang it. <laughs> there it is. Yes. All right, that's a man with a blinking... Oh, do I have one of those on my neck? Nope, I'm just in my underwear. All right. The flesh parlor. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry, and mm -hmm. so is everyone else. Uh-huh. Wool breakers will be shot or worse. Hey. Ain't enough food around. Can't uh -huh. think about nothing else when you got a hole in your tummy. Yeah, 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 fine. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh. You know what? Any clothing's better than nothing. <laughs> Even if it's just a cap. Hey, one charisma. What have we got in there? Upper mint? Nope. No, nothing, nothing, nothing of value. Now just burnt textbooks. Can I talk to any We're of these people? We're in some real trouble here. Yeah, you think? Excuse me. We need some water soon. Okay, I can't actually seem to they talk to any of these people. Shakes bad. Haven't slept in days. Plague Doctor's board game. Tattered rag, sure. Don't think I want a shock collar. Put on the rags, though. Little bit of luck. Oh, hey, we got charisma and luck going for us now. Nice. And a wrench. Boy, all of this is a metaphor. <laughs> is it, though? All right, we got that. Sweet. Hello, lasers. It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated uh huh. My sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mm, oh. He's so amazing. Oh, does it? You remember everything you read. Quick, absorb that book. Of course, mother. Mm -hmm. Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants, stimulants and nutrients, weaving taste and performance together in a potent breakfast cocktail that will provide a day-to-day -day breakthrough. Child's life. Wonderful. I can see the future. <laughs> Sugar bombs may last up to twelve hours. Uh -huh. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Wait, half so free? So <laughs> crispy, so fresh when it hits your stomach, blasting your brain with five thousand taste volts of volcanic delight. Oh. Sugar bombs are built. Volcanic delight. Why is there a plane? Why is there a plane? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, there's a terminal there here, though. Can I turn off these lasers? Remote door control. Ow. Oh, nah, it's just going to close the door I assume we just opened. All right, well, we can we can disarm these. There we go. And the, oh, there we go. Oh, hey. Oh, so what might be over? I mean, our stuff is up there. Oh, hey, there's cameras. That's not good. Let's quick save. <laughs> well, I need you. What's you? I don't know, stupid monkeys. I hear footsteps. That's ah, not good. Oop. They just injected something. <laughs> What? Again? Really? Why 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 do we keep hearing an injection sound? Oh crap! Something out there. Oh, prison guards got alerted. Ah oh, dang, and there's someone on our floor now. Oh no. I didn't notice the mine. The mine just screwed me. Alright, you know that they just seem to be Must have worried about stuff over there. Okay, yeah, let's disarm that. I swear, if this turns out to be another damn problem. Here we go. Requires a key to get into this terminal, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, boy, we're gonna have to find that, huh? I didn't like that radiation emitter either, but I think we just disarmed it with the uh, the tripwire. So, probably gonna have to kill one of these guys to get a key off of them then, huh? Brain extraction? Oh, no. <laughs> well, they may have been alerted, but still, we learned some things, so quick save. 
requires terminal. Probably a different one than this, because that's just a close. Novice lock. We could get you. Okay, okay. There we go. Got it. Oh, hello. Who's there? Oh, hey. Yeah, he detected me. That's not great. No okay, well. Now. I'm horrible uh. at melee. I'm very, very bad at melee. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh, they're going to be a lot better than me at this. There we go. All the action points I have. <laughs> oh, this is going to be real annoying. It's just going to take forever to kill him, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, I hate melee. I hate melee. <laughs> We're just going to be beating this man for a few minutes, aren't we? Yeah, it seems to be what it's going to be. Or in your case, it's just a corpse. Uh, no, I'm not a corpse yet. I've done a lot more damage than to you than you have to me. All right, let's go with this again. There we go. Oh, I hate melee. <laughs> but thankfully, we're winning. Yeah, we barely lost anything. And you did. Hey, Fallon's terminal password. Beautiful. Okay, we also need. Yeah, there we go. We need clothes until we get our stuff back. That actually gives us some protection. Yeah. Nice. There we are. Anything else in here? Hopefully it would be beneficial to us. We got some meds, some beer. Did I just take a pl I think I just took a plate. <laughs> oh, hey, the sugar bombs. I suddenly have a craving for sugar bombs. <laughs> Another stim. Nice. I mean, we have all of our eight items, but still. I, you know, grab some extras. Another Terminal password? I mean, okay, fine. I'll take it. Weird? Why would there be two? Oh, well. Oh, well. We got it. You know, could have, I guess, just been an... If you're a really good, sneaky character, maybe you could have snuck around that guy and he never would have known. That could have been interesting. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there a... I was kind of wondering if maybe there was a way we could have gone through this wall. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, I think this is going to be a good place, actually, to end the episode today. Oh, that prison guard's still up there and being in pain. Yeah, we'll go cautioned. Considering we are past the half-hour mark, and we did just get the password we need to get onto that thing. So Nothing. we'll start there Damn. next time. And I assume that'll then the? open up that door, leading us to upstairs where we can hopefully get all of our things. Well, and that's going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching. Always. Oh, have a good one.